Hola familias y estudiantes de Wrigler. Estoy aquí hoy para decirles acerca de cómo crear una agenda diaria de aprendizaje en su casa. Y esto es algo que me interesa mucho porque tengo mis dos hijos conmigo en mi casa y um, ha sido muy importante tener una agenda diaria de actividades de aprendizaje. Entonces, para empezar, les quería enseñar Um, algunos ejemplos, oh, bueno, no, lo, el directriz del Departamento de Educación de Oregon. Um, y creo que ya han escuchado de eso en um, el mensaje de Mirna. Ayer, entonces hoy, perdón, es que tengo, tengo hijos en la casa, ustedes ya saben cómo es que a veces hacen ruido. Um, entonces, para kinder y primero, los maestros cada día les van a proveer 45 minutos más o menos, uh, bueno, o menos. Um, en segundo y, y tercero, 60 minutos o menos. Cuarto y quinto, 90 minutos o menos de actividades de aprendizaje que pueden hacer en la computadora. Uh, y la razón que cambia de kinder a quinto es porque los niños más chiquitos no deben de pasar tanto tiempo enfrente de una pantalla. Um, mientras los de quinto ya pueden pasar más tiempo ahí y no, no es tan difícil aprender um, en la computadora para ellos. Además de estas actividades de aprendizaje del maestro, Ustedes en casa van a escoger algunas actividades de aprendizaje que son suplementarias. Y eso depende de lo que quieren ustedes. Um, es dirigido por su estudiante y por los intereses de ustedes como familia. También recomiendan dos horas cada día de nutrición y bienestar. Eso es como el recreo, jugar afuera, comer, todo eso. Entonces, quiero um, enseñarles algunos ejemplos de unos horarios. Um, esto es un ejemplo de un horario de kinder y primero. Siempre si quieren pausarlo y mirarlo más de cerca, pueden. También los maestros les van a mandar un documento que tiene todos estos ejemplos adentro. Entonces, pueden ver que son dos momentos en el día cuando tienen una lección el maestro de 20 minutos, sus maestros van a ponerse en contacto con ustedes acerca del horario específico de su clase. Posiblemente van a tener actividades que pueden hacer en cualquier momento del día o posiblemente van a tener actividades um, que necesitan hacer en un momento dado y ellos van a comunicarse con ustedes acerca de eso. Okay. Entonces, esto todo es un ejemplo. Esto es de segundo y tercero. Es casi lo mismo, solo que tendrán más tiempo en su lección de um, lectoescritura o de matemáticas de su maestro. Uh, cuarto y quinto van a tener aún más tiempo dirigido por el maestro y posiblemente van a tener un horario más fijo dado por el maestro. Ustedes en casa lo que pueden hacer es um, hacer un horario juntos. Y estos son dos ejemplos que no requieren tecnología, que pueden hacer una lista de que, uy, yo sé que um, para empezar el día me gusta escuchar canciones. Entonces vamos a empezar con eso. Um, lo ponen en la lista um, y escriben cómo quieren que el, el día um, va. También otra opción, podrían ponerlo en notas pegajosas y tenerlo puesto en algún lugar en su casa. Deben de tratar de incluir actividades de aprendizaje de, um, de la lista que les proveemos. También hay una actividad de CISA que ustedes pueden hacer en, en casa si tienen acceso a esta tecnología y pueden mover estas cosas para hacer su propia agenda. Ya hay opciones ahí, ustedes nada más los mueven en computadora. Bueno, si tienen preguntas, pueden preguntar a sus maestros um, y espero que tengan mucha suerte. 
Hello, Wrigler families and students. Happy Tuesday. I'm here to tell you about how to create a daily schedule for learning in your home. And I'm especially excited to tell you about this because it's something that I have been doing in my own home with my own children who are in kindergarten and third grade. Um, so I know you have already heard a bit yesterday from Mirna about the guidelines from the Oregon Department of Education. And that's something to keep in mind when you think about your daily schedule um, and what your learning activities are gonna look like with your, your child. So um, right here you can see that the number of minutes that the Oregon Department of Education has said that teachers can offer a um, teacher-led learning activity in K-1, it's 45 minutes or less a day. In 2-3, it's 60 minutes or less. In 4-5, it goes up to 90 minutes or less. Um, and then the expectations also are um, in between um, one and two hours of supplementary activities. And then um, it goes up to three hours of some supplemental activities. Um, whereas for the meeting nutrition and wellness needs, that should be two hours each day. So um, I wanted to show you some examples of what this actually looks like. I created some example schedules um, of what this might look like in your own house. So this is a K-1 example right here. And um, you can see that there are here um, two teacher lessons. So right here, whoop, sorry, I'm <laughs> not trying to cross it out, but these pink ones right here that I'm trying to circle with the yellow, um, these are 20 minute lessons from the teacher. And um, the rest of the day is going to be really guided by you as a family um, and the student's own interests and needs um, and desires. So there's recommendations and we're gonna give you a menu of activities that students can choose from, but it's gonna be really important for you to establish your own schedule. Um, so you can see here, I also have an example for uh, second through third grade. Uh, which is really, really similar to the one for, for K-1, except that there's longer lessons from the teachers. And then here's an example for fourth and fifth graders. Feel free to pause this at any time if you want to look at it more closely. Um, teachers should also be sending out a document with all of these examples in them and some links to activities. So um, in fourth and fifth grade, they're definitely going to have more time on the computer and more time with guided lessons by their teacher. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And your teacher, your child's teacher is going to be in touch with you about whether those teacher directed times are times that need to be at a specific time of day or if they can be, um, or if you can just decide to put them at any time of day and access lessons on Google Classroom or Seesaw uh, whenever you want. So that's something they'll be in touch with you about. So for, um, I wanted to show you some examples of how you could make a schedule, what this could look like. So these are two low tech options right here. One is um, you can just write on a piece of paper here what it is that you're going to do. Um, the other is that you could write it on post-its. And then finally, um, there is an activity in Seesaw that teachers will be pushing out where you can actually move around these little pieces electronically and create your own schedule that way. So happy schedule making and um, let your teachers know if you need help with this or have questions.
Hey there, Panthers. I'm missing you all, and I miss singing together with you. So I decided to record myself singing so that you could sing along. We're going to start off today with the class song, just like we always do. Here we go. Yeah. When we come to music class, we dance, we sing, we play. We're safe, we're kind, we participate, and try our best all day. One more time. Here we go. When we come to music class, we dance, we sing, we play. We're safe, we're kind, we participate, and try our best all day. Well, that was pretty great. Now I want you to reach back into your memories. Let's remember that old lady who seemed to have a problem when she swallowed a fly. Remember that little bit of melody at the end there that we always sing together? That's right. Perhaps she'll die. Here we go, we'll start from the beginning. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Well, I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. Sing along as much as you can remember. Here we go. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Well, I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. Well, how absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that, to swallow a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Well, I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. My, what a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Well, I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed swallowed a hog. Oh, there was an old lady who swallowed a... There was an old lady who swallowed a goat just to open her throat and down went the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Well, I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. Well, I don't know how she swallowed a cow, but she swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Perhaps she'll die. Oh.
course. Thanks for listening. Thanks for singing along. And I hope you have a great day. Buenos dias, estudiantes de regular. Es la maestra, soy la maestra Brisa. Y hoy estoy cultivando flores de calendula. Hi, students of Wrigler. Um, this is Maestra Brisa, and today I'm out here planting marigold flowers. Uh, estes flor, flores vamos a usarlos para la celebración de Día de los Muertos en octubre, en octubre, noviembre. Entonces, nos vamos a, um, a mirarlos cuando están cultivando y. We're going to use these flowers to celebrate Dia de los Muertos in October, November. And meanwhile, we will watch them grow. So, si recuerdas, para, para cultivar, puedes cavar un hueco así. Y solo haces así. Y puedes plantar. So if you remember, all you do is dig a hole like this and you could take it out of its pot, the little flower, and put it right here. Okay. Os extraño de menos, os echo de menos, y espero que nos vemos muy pronto. I miss you all. And I hope you are safe, and I hope to see you soon. Adios!